Tim Duncan going for 20,000. Can he do it? And all he has made 11 All Star rosters in his 12 seasons. Tim Duncan showing why he has been all defense virtually his entire career. What more do you want from Tim Duncan? He's won five MVP awards, three in the finals. Tim Duncan with his fourth title. There's no question in my mind, the greatest power forward that's ever played this game. During his 13 NBA seasons, Tim Duncan has quietly built a career for the ages. After entering the league as the top overall draft pick in 1997, he has always more than exceeded expectations. Denver by nine. Duncan, and that is his first NBA basket. He ranked third in the league in rebounding. Six in block shots. 13th in scoring. The 1997-98 Sick Rookie of the Year award goes to number 21, Tim Duncan. The San Antonio Spurs have won their first NBA championship. It won't be a reality for a long time. Still a dream right now. Wake up in the morning and I'll know it's real. The 5,000 point barrier. It's a 2002 NBA Most Valuable Player Award to our own Tim Duncan. He is now over the 10,000 point mark in his career. And San Antonio wins the NBA championship. There is no greater <laughs> feeling than what the San Antonio Spurs are feeling right now. the Spurs and they, they see this Tim Duncan era, they're going to say, you know, we didn't even appreciate what we had. I mean, it's pretty special. And there's some guys, though, that are uncoachable. You know, you just saw one right there. The guy you want, big guy, just walked by. He just wants to do whatever he wants to do on the court. It's a feeling that uh, he feels like he can do whatever he wants out there. Jack all over. He gets away a fadeaway. Makes his move with three. Feeds it to Tim at the buzzer. Back in. First of all, started. He's a rock star, so it's nothing different to him carrying the ball on him. Tim is he's more calm. You just got to know him. Uh, he's a passive leader, but he's, he's a great guy to play with. And yet sometimes we take his greatness for granted because he does it on such a consistent basis. The San Antonio Spurs have won their third NBA World Championship. It's Fiesta time. TD, what are, what are we in? On pick and roll, what are we in? Timmy, can I do my interview here? Is it okay if I just finish my, I know you're Tim Duncan, you know, ring this, ring that, but I just want to finish my interview. Learning from a coach who has been both provocative and playful, Duncan has developed his own style of leadership. The San Antonio Spurs have prevailed to win the world championship the fourth time in the last nine years. And they are out at center court mobbing one another. Great job, man. Yeah. This is going to be your league in a little while, too, man. but uh, I appreciate you giving us this here. <laughs> certainly downplay it. Tonight could mark a milestone in the career of Spurs forward Tim Duncan, who needs 15 points to reach the 20,000 point plateau for his career. Uh, he's not somebody who's going to mark his career with how many points he scored. Uh, he understands the big picture. He's going to look at how many rings, how many titles he has. And I, I think that's what really defines him and what's made him such a special player. And I'm very happy for him to, uh, for this uh, accomplishment tonight. He deserves it. It's, it's all about winning. It's all about uh, uh, trying to get to the ultimate goal. It's been a great career so far and some great milestones. And uh, I'll look back on it and really appreciate what I've done. 
among his many accomplishments, Tim Duncan came within two blocks of a rare quadruple double in a title-clinching Game 6 win in the 2003 Finals. Tim is putting together a monster game, and he's the only guy that's keeping the Spurs in it. Tim, not only do you go out this season with the regular season in the Finals MVP, you become the first man in 10 years to have a triple-double in the NBA Finals. When it comes to triple doubles, one man stands alone. The Big O heads the all-time list. In today's game, LeBron James has the all-around skills to be a triple-double threat and make his own mark in this category. The fabulous number 23 in line and gold has become the youngest player in NBA history to record a triple-double at 20 years and 20 days old. What's up, Big O? But before the king can challenge the throne, he'll have to pass Magic Johnson and Jason Kidd of the Dallas Mavericks. If you're keeping track of the triple-doubles, we know Jason Kidd is Mr. Triple-Double of his generation. Stolen away at midcourt by Kidd. Two on one. The lob for Marion to bring it down. Then goes back to Kidd who lays it in. How many times did we see that? Coming up, Kidd moves up another all-time list. And his teammate achieves a milestone of his own. Good 